<clears throat> Every day is a holiday. Winnie's birthday countdown by Jeff by Steph Wade. Steph Wade. Steph Wade. Steph Wade. There's something always there's always something to celebrate. Every day's a holiday. Winnie's birthday countdown. How many days till my birthday? Winnie asked her mother. 362. That's too many days, she moaned. Find something fun to do. Nothing is as fun as a birthday. She tried to keep herself busy, but nothing worked. It was the longest day of Winnie's life. As Winnie went to sleep that night, her mother hatched a plan. A crazy plan, a busy plan, a plan to rule all other plans. Oop. The next morning, when Winnie woke up, she smelled popcorn. Happy National Popcorn Day, her mother yelled. Popcorn for breakfast was way better than oatmeal. Her mother even let her take some to share for snack at school. But when Winnie got home, she was still asking the same old question. How many days till my birthday? Happy National Cheese Lovers Day. The next morning, there was, a, there was cheesy eggs for breakfast, cheese and crackers for snack, grilled cheese for lunch, and even cheesecake for dessert. But still... The same question. Is it almost my birthday? No. Every day after that was something new. There was opposite day. Tonight, I'll read to you. Send a card to a friend day. There was read across America day. And dress in blue day. After hours of snuggling dogs at the shelter on National Puppy Day, Winnie stopped asking about her birthday. She asked a different question instead. What holiday is it tomorrow? You'll have to wait and see, her mother said. She ate ice cream sandwiches and s'mores. She learned about different countries through cooking. Paella, sushi, pierogies, bao, tikka masala, and her very favorite, tacos. Her friends joined in the fun and taught her about their special holidays. She loved learning about other traditions as she celebrated Lunar New Year with her classmates and feasted at a Passover sitter with her neighbors. Winnie toured many new places. She saw elephants at the zoo and postal workers at the post office. She visited her parents at work. Best job ever. As she learned about nurses, astronauts, and teachers, nurses, astronauts, teachers, she thought about what she wanted to be when she grew up. When she grew up, maybe she would own her own business. She always liked being the boss. Winnie's Bookstore. Boss Day. She learned to appreciate the sacrifices of others on Veterans Day and Patriot Day. Winnie sounded like someone else on Talk Like Shakespeare Day and Talk Like a Pirate Day. Yo ho ho, a land number is me. Some of the strangest days ended up being her favorite. Lost Sock Memorial Day. Kick Butt Day. Time Traveler Day. Winnie's year flew by. She celebrated new holidays and old favorites too. Halloween and Christmas. 
On January 15th, when he bounced out of bed, she'd been waiting 360 days for this date and she knew what to expect. It was finally her birthday. Happy birthday, Winnie. Her family cheered. Happy birthday, Winnie. HBD. She was so excited to blow out her candles, but she couldn't shake the feeling that something was missing until her mother placed a hat in her head and everyone shouted, and happy National Hat Day.